Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Bendix. I'm a spine surgeon with Georgia Spine and Orthopedics here in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'll be bringing you today's Medical Minute. Today we'll be talking about a procedure that we perform here at Georgia Spine and Orthopedics called the percutaneous discectomy or minimally invasive discectomy for the cervical spine, meaning the neck. So if a patient has failed conservative care and has pain as a result of one or more painful discs in their neck, after they've failed time, rest, pills, therapy, and perhaps injections, traditionally the next step has been to consider either living with the pain or a more formal surgery such as a disc replacement or a fusion. This procedure is a measure that falls in between the more conservative care and the more aggressive surgical care. This percutaneous discectomy is a procedure that we perform here at the surgery center, uh, and this can be done with local anesthesia or general anesthesia. It involves placing a needle into the disc from the front and removing a small portion of the disc that is causing the pain while leaving the remainder of the disc behind. This procedure is a great option for patients because it's minimally invasive. So patients who have already undergone an epidural are more likely to consider this procedure since it involves basically the same size needle that we normally use for an epidural. And it's also a very quick recovery. Patients go home the same day. It usually takes about uh, 10 to 15 minutes to perform the procedure. And they'll know within a couple of weeks if the surgery did the trick for them. Uh, most of our patients have a success rate in the range of 60 or 70%, so quite a high success rate for a very short procedure. And then finally, it's important to keep in mind that if for some reason they don't have good success with the procedure here at Georgia Spine Orthopedics, we can still offer them the next step in continuum of care, which would be an artificial disc or a disc fusion. So there's several important reasons why this is a great procedure for patients who fail conservative care. Not only is it a quick procedure with a quick recovery time and a high success rate, but we also have other options for patient care if that treatment option doesn't work. Hey, thanks for checking out our video today. If you have any questions that I didn't answer, post it in the comments section below. And please follow us on our various social media platforms. Thanks again.